Thank you. Order. Order. The Honourable the Urara Flavel. Tenaukwe, Mr. Speaker. Kia ora, kia ora tātou katoa. Ka mihi rā, kia tātou e hui nei tēnei rā. <coughs> Māori mai, ngā pākehā mai, ka nui te mihi. Uh, Mr. Speaker, can I firstly start off by uh, congratulating the uh, Minister of Finance for working extremely well with the Māori Party leadership. <coughs> and it's sad that some will moan because they got nothing. They had to deliver nothing to the people of this country and the Māori Party has been able to work constructively with the National Party uh, throughout this last year. Mr Speaker, I'm usually a humble man as most people know. I'm very humble. I'm very humble, Mr. Speaker, but not today, Mr. Speaker. I'm ready to rumble today because the Māori Party has helped deliver some goodies to the people of this country. Marama Fox is like that, very humble, but just for today, Mr. Speaker, we're going to speak up. We're going to speak up. Mr. Speaker, since the Māori Party was created 11 years ago, far no have been at the forefront of our thinking. We've been dedicated to improving the lives of Fano and breaking the intergenerational neglect and poor policy of previous governments that have failed abysmally, Mr Speaker, to improve the lives of our most vulnerable families. Mr Speaker, the Māori Party created history when it became the first political party in this country to call for a ministerial committee on poverty. It brought into sharp focus, Mr Speaker, the dire and complex issues raised by the most vulnerable families in our country, and of course which of the fair disproportionate number are Māori. Mr Speaker, I can say to you that the Māori Party is extremely proud of the work that the government has undertaken as a result of the recommendations from the Ministerial Committee on Poverty set up by the Māori Party and I pay tribute to the former leader of the Māori Party, Tari Anaturia. Mr Speaker, today the government announced $790 million that will be reducing the hardship among Tamariki in the greatest need. $790 million. Why? Because the Māori Party rumbled up, Mr Speaker. That's why. So I say to Aotearoa today, it's OK. Don't thank us too much. The Māori Party rocked up and we delivered beside this government. Mr Speaker, I want to put it all in, in a bit of context. Benefit rates for families with children will rise $25 a week after tax, which is the first time since 1972 that core benefit rates have been increased by more than inflation. That's what we've done, pulled it over. We pulled it over the line. Mr Speaker, these measures will support around half a million children. Half a million children. So it's a bit rich for some to rock up here and say, do more for children. Hello, you do more for children and then you still get it wrong. There's something wrong there, Mr Speaker, something seriously wrong. Most of this country will be surprised, I think, that a national administration would offer increases to core benefit rates. And I think the Prime Minister alluded to that. Mr Speaker, here's the truth though. National Labour have held the Treasury benches for roughly an equal amount of time, over about 43 years, and neither of them have made any moves to increase benefit rates. So, Mr Speaker, who made the difference? The Māori Party made the difference, Mr Speaker. That's who the Māori Party made the difference. It's been through the work of my former co-leaders, Dr Peter Sharples and Tari Anaturia, and my, uh, my co-pilot here, Marama Fox, the only MP on that uh, continues to be on the Ministerial Committee on Poverty who have talked about nothing, nothing except alleviating hardship and poverty. And that equals $790 million. That's how it came about. Today, sir, the Māori Party has made history. It's taken 43 years, nearly half a century, for core benefits to raise. Mr Speaker, who did it? The Māori Party did it with some help from National. <laughs> in addition, Mr Speaker, uh, to this, um, in addition to this hard-fought gain, Mr Speaker, the Māori Party has also secured about 100 million worth of funding for whānau, whare and whenua. What's that? That's families, that's housing, that's land. New operational funding, 49.8 million over, next, over the next four years, will support whānau order navigators to work with whānau, ainga, and, fa and families. Do I hear an amen? amen? Thank you, sister. 
Uh, Mr Speaker, navigators played a hugely important role in linking up whānau with their vital services and, inf and information. The new funding will allow the continuation of current levels of navigators and kaitoko whānau, oranga whānau workers, they will be maintained. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this is sir, a 29% increase in the current funding for whānau order, and while this revolutionary approach to working with whānau to help them find the solutions for themselves has been attacked by some opposition MPs, the Māori Party and this government has seen the outstanding results of whānau order. Sir, Mr Peters, you need to talk to your older sister. She knows what whānau order is all about. <laughs> Mr Speaker, the budget has also provided 2.1 million of new funding for rangatahi Māori research um, uh, suicide sorry, prevention. And I have to say, too often I've seen the devastating effects of suicide, Māori suicide on whānau. The Māori rate is about 2.5 uh, times higher than non-Māori. This fund will contribute towards taking a whānau order approach to reducing youth suicide. It will prevent uh, and hopefully provide support pre for prevention workers working directly with rangatahi Māori in crisis situations. Moving to housing, Mr Speaker. Housing is such a crucial and critical factor in breaking the cycles of poverty, dependency and poor health outcomes for whānau Māori. A new whānau housing response uh, fund will focus on addressing housing deprivation. A Māori housing network will uh, be established to provide practical assistance to whānau and progress the housing aspirations of Māori. Budget 2015 provides an additional hold on, $8.8 .8 million per annum for Māori housing. What do I hear? Thank you, sister. This is in addition to the existing funding for Māori housing of around $7.5 uh, million per annum, bringing the total amount, Mr Speaker, to $16.2 million per annum 2018-2019. The new Māori network will provide an, an integral role in implementing, Mr Speaker, and evaluating he whare ahuru, he oranga tangata, the Māori housing strategy, which sets out the government's commitment to improving housing outcomes for Māori and to grow the Māori housing sector. I move, sir, to uh, whenua. From whare to whenua, it makes sense. A new fund of $12.8 million over four years to help Māori landowners improve the utilisation of their land. It's also in this year's budget, Mr Speaker. What do I hear? Thanks. Thank you, sister. The fund, sir, complements the current reform of the Ture Whenua Māori Act. The issues that the fund will investigate are generally in, uh, talking about rates, valuation, <coughs> aggregation of small land blocks and landlocked land, Mr Speaker. It's got to be good. It's got to be good. I, I will. Hold on, there's more, Mr Speaker. There's $3.2 million per, per annum. There's a fund will supply, uh, support targeted initiatives in areas uh, with significant under, underutilised land, Mr Speaker, such as in Northland, East Coast, Bay of Plenty, Manawatu, Whanganui. Help is on its way, Mr Speaker. Help is on its way. Uh, it will address long-standing issues that have generally inhibited Māori whānau, hapū, iwi, from releasing and realising the benefits of their land. So, as a partner in this government, we have been criticised for only getting the crumbs. Ahem. Only getting the crumbs. So that's a, a blatant lie. A blatant lie. The Māori Party has had real and profound impact on this government and the tangible gains we've made for whānau. Over the last seven years, Mr Speaker, as a support party, we have led initiatives to tackle poverty. They include Warm Up New Zealand, rheumatic fever prevention, free GP doctor's visits, expansion of paid parental leave. I could go on, Mr Speaker, but I'm a humble man. I'll hold it back. While the opposition will argue, sir, that the merits, uh, the merits of and benefits and increase today is pretty minimal, sir, they get nothing. They have delivered nothing to this country. Why? Because they're in opposition. And here we are at the table getting gains for our people. Today, Mr Speaker, the Māori Party can and will take every bit of credit that comes our way. Why? Because we, we have done it, Mr Speaker. The Māori Party have done it. A close serve. It is a win for whānau who work hard to bring their tamariki up with the necessities of life. 
It's a win for all of those who fight day in, day out to make the lives of our people better. It's time for this country to realise, sir, the huge and valuable contribution of the, Māori, of the mighty Māori Party in this House. That's what we do. We look after the families, we look after the lives of our people, not just Māori, but all of this country, Mr Speaker. This budget is all, makes us on the move. We say, let's get it on, let's move it and move it now. Thank <laughs> you.